This is the Precise adding machine. Precise is the brand name, not the description. And it's a very simple adding machine. Uh, a coaxial adder. It has a stylus built in, stored at the front. The stylus is a nice heavy solid piece of metal. And each of the digits has a toothed uh, wheel in front of it that you can move with the stylus. So to add 7 you put the stylus next to the 7 and move it down. It has a built-in carry mechanism of course. And the lever on the right hand side that clears the register. When you uh, push the lever it all moves up to 9 and when you release it, it adds one more, essentially um, performing a carry oper operation and it then rolls over to 0. It was made, it says here, by ECA Manufacturing Corporation in Chicago. And there's a, a patent number here as well. Here. And uh, yeah, this, this machine did not originate really with ECA. It started with a company called American Photo Laboratories. And they must have been founded in the late 1930s. Uh, in around 1942, they changed their name to Precise Developments Company. They made various uh, things for uh, photo labs. Uh, they, the, one of their most popular products was uh, a guillotine style paper cutter that also had the brand name uh, Precise. But during the war, the Precise Developments Company mostly did uh, made things for the war effort. This patent uh, was filed in 1941-1942, but it wasn't granted until 1946, and that is when uh, this adding machine was first made. I think Precise Developments, that they outsourced their manufacturing and for the manufacturing for this adder was, I think, outsourced to ECA. ECA has its own history. It was founded by Leo Morantz in 1942. Leo had been a, a mechanical engineer who worked at the Tuthill Freezer Company. And, yeah, he was specialised in freezers. He came up with uh, some new designs that he wanted to uh, produce himself. So he uh, went it alone and founded ECA. And ECA stands for Electric Corporation of America. He wanted that company to make those freezers and also other electrical products. But when it just first started out, he'd bought this... Uh, uh, building, this factory uh, that used to house a play school who made toys. So at first ECA started making toys. And that's probably also why they shortened the name to ECA, because they weren't making electrical items. So at, as ECA toys, they started making toys. And they probably also made things for other companies, uh, that outsourced their manufacturing, like for American photo labs or precise developments. But uh, yeah, so anyway, in 1946, they started making this adder. But ECA also had a, a sales company uh, nationwide, a wholesalers or nationwide sales company. And when they started making this machine, also nationwide adding machine company. So essentially ECA were making this machine and selling and distributing it. So I think eventually uh, Precise Developments Company just said, well, to hell with that, we'll just uh, 
sell off the rights to this machine. And that happened in 1948. And from then on, ECA put their own name on the machine itself. A precise Developments Company changed the name back to American Photo Labs and continued to, uh, to make products until the 1960s. Uh, well, Leo Morantz, he was still aiming to make his uh, freezers. And, yeah, by 1949 he was beginning to do so, and he uh, met up with uh, a man called Harry Axine. Harry had worked for Dairy Queen and set up all their franchising. So those two men got together and founded Tasty Freeze. Uh, uh, yeah, a franchise specialised in soft serve ice cream and more and more also other fast foods. So yeah, they, they founded that in 1950 and at that time this adder was no longer manufactured. They dropped all their other manufacturing and focused purely on the Tasty Freeze brand. Well, actually, I think they may have continued to do some manufacturing, not just of the uh, ice cream machines and so on, but also uh, some toys and stuff to use for promo promotional items. When, uh, when Tasty Freeze uh, essentially uh, didn't do so well anymore, uh, Lear Morantz retired and became a, uh, an, yeah, an artist. He made abstract uh, art. So this machine was only in production from 1946 till about 1949 or 1950. That was the rather complicated history of the precise adding machine. Thank you for watching.